Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play Space Quest 5, the last, the next mutation. My name is Fla is Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today, today I think we're trying to get this red flashy thing, which is the blip shows Clippy's location. The little blip includes relic of location of the Eureka. So we need to go left and then up. There he is! Oh my god, he's right there! So how do I get him? No, 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 no. How, how, how do I get him? We just had him! He disappeared! It's gotta be a button I press. No, no, no! No! Oh, there is a button I press, okay. Ah, darn it! I already lost! Well, at least I kinda know what we're doing now. I think. Maybe? Ah. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go left. I need to activate this. I need to go up. Then I need to claw. Come on. I had him! I had him! I had him! M maybe the game is going too fast. But you gotta realize, uh, a lot of these old games, they don't play very well on modern day systems because the modern day systems make the game run super fast. Uh, we ran into that problem in, uh, what was it, Space Quest 4? With the alien shootout area? Although we got through that pretty well, I thought. So I'm gonna lower this down a little. Okay, so let's turn. I don't know if that really helped, to be honest. Okay, we need to go up, we need to activate this. We need to, like, stop. Almost, almost. Dang it! All right, let's try it again. Like, I, I, I remember seeing uh, it flash last time when we got, like, within range. So that's what I'm trying to do here. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, grab him. No, no, grab him. Claw, claw, claw. Okay, grab him. How do I? How do I grab him? I mean, he's right there. Oh, come on. Where'd he go? It's literally like right there. Can I? Why can't I grab him? This, this is very, very tricky here. Okay, go forward here. Stop. Activate the claw. Go forward. Stop. Okay, activate the claw. Okay, that's not activating the claw. Now what? I'm not close enough. Yeah, I'm not close enough is a problem. But, I mean, he's right on the windshield for crying out loud. Maybe I have to be a little more over? Right there, target of range. You see it, you see it? Okay, okay, I know what to do now. He's gotta be over to the right in order for it to work. Because the claw comes from that way. Okay, so let's activate the claw. Let's go up a little. Let's turn left a little. Shoot, a little too much. Why is he not turning a little? Right there. Right there, right there. Shoot, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no! Activate the claw! Come on, activate the claw! 
Why is the claw not working? Claw! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try to have a save. I know we're we may be out of uh fuel here, but I, I got right on target. I just need to figure out how to how to make the claw work. Come on. There we go. There we go. But if you have to successfully grapple, now it means you make it back to Rika if you can find it. Okay. So here's where I hope we have enough energy. Okay, so the Rika is straight ahead. Like literally straight ahead. Yes! Yeah! Good flying ace, you return to the city of the Rika. Woo! That was, that was very tricky. You okay, Cliffy? Eh, hey, just give me a minute to risk, get your wrist, sir. Thanks for pulling my butt out of the sling, and Captain, that's too I owe for you. Think nothing of it, Chief. Okay, I won't. <laughs> we need to get us out of here, sir. I don't know how much longer the Rika can stay in the pounding that she's taking. Yes, I agree. We definitely need to get out of here. All right, I'm gonna save it at 28. I'm too tired to talk just now, Captain. All right, we need to get out of here. Um, Elevator door, not airlock. Uh, okay, I think they hit us so hard with lasers it broke the game. Yeah. <laughs> they hit us so hard it broke the game. This is actually the second time it's crashed on me on this recording. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't do anything. Uh, I'll be right back. Thankfully, I just re uh, saved the game. So, they didn't lose any progress. Alright, going up. We need to get out of here though. Where are we going? Like, I don't have a destination to go to. Will you stop playing whatever you're doing when we're getting fired at? Okay, okay. Can, can you can you switch to my captain chair, please? Oh, come on, don't tell me the game crashed again. Oh yeah, nothing, nothing is happening. I wonder if the speed is on so low. Like, I wonder if I book the game by turning down the speed. <sighs> Take two, or three, or whatever. Okay, let's try this again. We're seeing the chair. Actually, I never changed the speed Um, uh, when I reloaded, apparently. So that has not changed. Uh, let's save though, since I just got in the chair. This game seems to love to freeze at this point. Oh, we need to leave. Um, I don't know how to leave. I don't know where to go, though. I, I don't know. Um, I need help. Uh, any, any ideas how we can stop the Goliath? I don't know, sir. If I could check up on them somehow. Maybe she around and get control of the ship, but they say it's coming down by other scatters. What about a final assault? Uh, even with my static accuracy, it would be a uh, Googleplex to one shot, sir. We'd probably be vaporized. Uh, what should we do about the ambassador? I'll tell you what you should do about her. Put the little tart at the lair lock and be done with it. Wow, a little jealous there? No, no, Flo, just she doesn't become you. Well, she is green, but... I think we should try to take down the source of this phlegm or slime. These pickles should be infused with. What good would that do? Ah, uh, this stuff had to come from somewhere, right? If we can find out who or what made it, perhaps we can discover where to fight it. That's a good idea. Uh, how do you like our chance of getting through this? Uh, let me see. What well, we gets a horde of RPG units and sort of battle cruiser, the outcomes is 100 to 1. Uh, basically, sir, I'd say we're, uh, screwed. <laughs> is there any way you can get through this dark kind of one is about the Goliath? The Goliath is jamming up transmissions, Captain. I'm trying to burn through, but there's not much I can do. She's got one of those new Terabot ECM suites. Uh, keep trying, Flo. Simul on edge. I bet through that on this mission, sir, and then you go and bring that little tramp on board. Flo, I'm surprised at you. She's a regular bastard with the Star Confederacy. She's hurt. She needs our help. Maybe so, but you gotta wonder about the girl with a name like, 
A wankmeister. <laughs> I just got a point. Uh, do you have any orders to cover this situation flow? I'm afraid not, sir. I guess we're on our own. So, any idea what we should do next? We should try to find out where the peacoids come from, sir. Clorox 2 would probably be a good starting point. Perhaps there's something down there that will yield a clue to the origins. Okay. Um, should we go back to Clorox 2? Hey, ring. Uh, can I book my ship? Sorry, sir. I haven't finished looking it up yet. Anything else, Captain? Uh, SAS report. I finished putting your WD-40 back together. We programmed it. Form as a science officer. You can now reach it through the science station on your comm panel. Anything else, Captain? Oh, that's amazing, buddy. Oh boy, we're sure having some fun now, eh, Captain? What function may I assist you with, Captain? Uh... Recommendation? None at this time, sir. Do you require anything further, Captain Wilco? Uh, that's all. I, I really don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I do not know what to do. So, what we're going to do... Is we are going to go to Clorox 2. Oh, could I talk to Char? I didn't get to the way. And then let's get the heck out of here. Aye, aye, sir. He who lives to run away, lives to fight another day. I think I said that right. Well, I have no idea, to be honest. I mean, it's... I mean, your guess is good as mine in this situation. I'm just going off of what she said, which is... Maybe going back to Clark's 2 will give us a clue of some kind. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, oh, we'll put it out to show you, Captain. Okay, so we're almost there. And I, I have to be missing something. I don't know what it is. Uh, the only thing I can think of is the, uh, is the, uh, the, the soup. You know, that um, giant container. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. But I couldn't find a way to get to it. So maybe I'll try that again. Providing that's Clorox too. I, I kind of forgot which plant was which. Like which one was Tharkis, which was Clorox too. <laughs> Alright, um. Uh, let's see. Uh, stay in orbit? No, no. I didn't mean to that. I mean, uh, regular speed first. You gotta do it step by step. Okay, uh, stay in orbit. And then we got to head down to the planet. And try to figure out what it is I'm missing here. Save the game. Uh, I call it F30. By the way, how's our uh, girl doing in here? Although Bay lies frozen in suspended animation, the threat of the mutagenic substance which affect her has only been temporarily diminished. You bought some time to find a cure, but nothing more. I hope there isn't some sort of in-game clock that started. That would really suck. Uh, is this a planet that has the, uh, atmosphere? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so we're back on the planet. And... Like I said, the only thing I can think of... Is this thing right here and I can't see it but it does say primordial soup it's got a logo and it says the word genetics so how do I I mean it's so obvious this has to be something that I need I need to know more about this genetics thing but I can't seem to Why are we moving so slow? I need to be able to go to a different location. So I can see the canister. Is that some way to get up there, is it? I'm telling you, I'm I'm just so bad at Okay, so that lets me go. Yeah, we know. That lets me go. I I, I don't need to go to the screen though. Can you go to this screen? Well, this rock kind of comes up this way. Is there a way I could, um, climb up here? 
Wait, what just happened? Oh, look! We did climb up here! Hey! The canister bears the phrase Primordial Soup and the logo of the Genetics Research Corporation. A small label near the bottom bears an ominous description. Biohazard. Teratogenic substance. Do not expose to direct sunlight, air, or water. Do not ingest, inhale, or allow contact with exposed skin. Another fine product from Genetics Research Corp. 4166 Sector G6. 4166. So now we know the code. So now we know where to go. So let's... Um, go backwards? There we go. So we need to... Uh, we need to use our thingamajig to get up there. This Eureka Captain. Go ahead, Captain Wilco. Want to be up, Flo? Oh, great. Just when I was finally starting to unwind up here. Beam me up. Wait, what happened? Uh, what's going on? Uh, what was that? You okay there, buddy? Vivian's doing gross, obviously. What the heck just happened? We like. Why is everything moving so slow? Hmm. Okay, I went ahead and uh, restarted. And things seem to be working a little bit better now. Okay, we know where to go. So let's go to Cliffy here. And say, lane of course. We need to go 41666. And then we just need to chill for a few minutes uh, while we... Oh, wait, wait. When we need to actually go. Yeah, right. All right, now we just need to chill for a minute until we uh, get there. Captain Wilco, we're approaching our destination. Okay, well, let's go ahead and regular speed. And after hitting regular speed, we will... Navigate around? Whatever this is. Oh, look, it's like a little space station. Um, Santa Orbit. Nice. All that means the genetics research station is a single environment. So in the manual, there's uh, something about the genetics. Saying something like, uh, we play God so you don't have to. Uh, but there's no coordinate. In order to get the coordinates to the other planets, uh, if you look at the manual at the end, there's a section with star dates and they have like the name of a planet and then like a code. And you have to basically, it's a copy protection thing. Uh, let's go ahead and I didn't need to get. I'm um, sorry, I hit the wrong button. I didn't need to contact you. Uh, scan planet. I am detecting power fluctuations inside the Envirodub, sir. Sensors registered to be in the area as well. Okay. Um, ships. No air. No ships in the area. Um, fully functional. Recommendation. The facility is not listed in any star card registry or any of our other library databases, sir. Structural analysis and sensor readings indicate a 92% probability this is a research facility of some kind. I recommend we send an away team down to investigate the station, Captain Wilco. Okay, well then, let's do that. Is anyone gonna join me? Take it, no? How about you guys? You guys wanna join me? Anyone gonna get in the pad with me? Anyone? All right, I guess not. Let me drop a save. Uh, let's energize then. Oh no, this is happening again. Uh, I don't like whatever this is doing. What in the world is going on? Looks like he had a zany teleporter blooper. Watch, quick, get a camera. Galactic Inquirer will pay you 10 bucks if they publish your photo. Wait, what the heck? Wait, it seems the fly may have gotten the best end of the exchange, though not my... Wait, wait. Wait, 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 stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Wait, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where am I? What's going on here? What in the world is going on here? Where am I? Wait, that flight. What is going on here? How do I have the head of a bug? How do, how do I 
does my body have the head of a fly? What in the world is happening? What just happened? I basically became a fly or like morphed into a fly or something weird that I can't really explain. Um, it's like, so we're the fly. This is weird. This is really, really weird. What the, what the heck? Oh my God. Hello? Okay, I, I think I dodged that fog. Hello? Oh! Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm literally a fly. Chloe looks a bit put out, but then she usually is. Looks like there's a fly in the ointment. That fly is you. What the heck is going on here? Can somebody up there explain to me how the captain of a starship can be reduced to a common house fly? Yeah, you look hideous, Captain. Thanks for the pep talk, Flo. Tell Cliffy to get down here and now! I'll inform him of your predicament, sir, but the chase butter is malfunctioning again. Yeah, I know that! Look at me! I'm a fly! Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Exactly. Captain, sisters have located a large underground structure to the west of your position. Why don't you go check it out while we work on the transporter problem? I'll do that, Flo, but please tell Cliffy to get down here ASAP. We'll go out. I'm a fly! Why am I a fly? What is going on in this game? Like seriously, what is going on in this game? Alright, so I guess go west? Alright. Now what? We have to go west. I need to go west. What's up with this rock formation? Oh look, it's Chloe Concealed Hidden Doorway. Okay, that's what's up with the rock formation. Looks like somebody had a crystal glory. What is this? It looks like every other electronic card lock you've ever seen. But can I? I guess I can. Uh, I'm inside the card lock. What the heck is this? What? What the heck is going on? What the heck is this? They managed to buzz your way through the credit card into an electronic door locking mechanism. You're standing on a plate designed to precisely align a key card with the light beams inside this locking mechanism. So if I go here, I trigger that. If I go here, I trigger that. I go here, nothing. Yeah, there's like an X pattern when nothing happens. And then there's a, a uh, diamond pattern where everything gets triggered. So I probably write this down. What's going on here? So diamond pattern and X pattern. There's two different combinations here. One, things go like that. And all of these stick out. So, I, I don't know. Can we move on? <laughs> Can we just move on? All right, I'm a fly. What are we doing? Go here? 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 What the heck is this? Specimen jars containing grotesque examples of misapplied genetic engineering line one wall of the laboratory. This is gross. Where are we? There appears to be some kind of genetic research laboratory. Advanced machinery, experiment cages, and specimen containers contain containing bizarre creatures are found throughout the room. This appears to be some kind of genetic- yeah, okay. Small warning noise em emanates from his cage. Yeah? Computer workstation appears to be functional. You can land on it. Dome disk will occur in 0000, just in complete. Uh, 
Yeah, we play God, so we don't have to. Yeah, that was on the manual. This is that weird. This whole thing is. This game just became really weird. Uh, the systems? Okay, what is this? Dailing non functional. Non functional. Operational standby power backup computer system active. Security popped up. Hey! I think that was us. What is that? It's like a giant monster. But I think that was us. This is a picture from the advanced cameras in the. Whatever. There's another camera here. Okay, this is where we teleport in. It's about time Cliffy fixed that dang transporter. Yay! Everyone's here now. I'm really gonna bug him about it this one for a long time. Ha 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 ha. They can't hear you. I'm not trying to talk to them. I got my eye on. Activity log. Uh, use a 453 login in mainframe at station OU812. Uh, Henhouse of Doom? What? Like, what does that mean? What is going on here? Fly away. I don't want to do that. Um, intruder alert. Auto fire suppression system active. Shuttle bay one. Structural integrity failure, don't want depressurized. Mainframe offline. Emergency convenience system activated. System power failure, emergency power activated. Uh, abandoned station. Authorization 159 verified. Um, destruct failsafe breached. Okay, what the heck is happening here? Uh, show projection completed, come to Jensen and detonated. Uh, authorization 999 verified. I always like to see a game that has 999 in it. Uh, power stabilized. Um, bunch of other stuff. Don't understand what the point of this is. Let's look at the activity log. Oh wait, that, that was what I just looked at. Okay, let's go to, uh, projects. Uh, genetics Projects Inventory, Primordial Soup. Uh, feasibility Study of Meta Bacterial Transformations in Terraforming and Space Colony Applications. Project Goal to create a survivable and highly adaptable meta bacteria to enable terraforming on planets currently unsuitable for human habitation. The meta bacteria will serve as a base for an artificial food chain on a selected planet, synthesizing complex proteins as natural byproduct of its metabolism. To put it in terms of the layman, it will eat poison, giving off water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and producing a rich organic feed base that other introduced more organisms to compete upon. In essence, the metabacteria will create a living primordial soup. After three months of preliminary trials, the bacterial strain Cassius velox has shown the greatest promise. The vigor of the species is impressive and its astonishing reproductive rate makes it an ideal candidate for our purposes. Primary experimental trials will bombard Cassius Velux with hard radiation to confirm hardiness and test adaptive ability. Placing a petri dish on the bacteria behind a computer monitor for a period of hours will expose it to hard radiation conditions similar to those on an uninhabitable class D planet. Later we shall repeat the procedure using a safer type of radiation such as gamma ray source. Science log, start date 3234.22. Initial results with Cassius Velux are encouraging. It thrives in the radiation environment as long as the adequate food sources are provided. We are well on our way towards engineering the first true metabacteria. A few specimens have manifested undesirable genomes after successful trials. Set up, uh, steps will be taken to cull out the recessive so that the entire population isn't compromised. Science log, start date 3237.12. I believe we have discovered and removed all remaining undesirable latent genetic traits in Metacassius Velux. The next step will be to introduce live mice into an environment prepared by Metacassius. Science day, science log, start date 3243.19. Several subjects had demonstrated tetra 
Genic side effects as a result of ingesting the primordial soup Gestalt. The mice have turned into slimy, foul-smelling, bad-tempered mana rodents with attitudes. It seems that Metacastus has affected the DNA of the mice much like a virus. This unprecedented event further study is indicated. Somebody buzz there. Science logs, stardate 3252.06. The experiment is not progressing well. Several test subjects have begun mutating wildly. The morphology of the creatures is singularly unrodent like They resemble nothing as much as ambulatory piles of goo with teeth. The only thing which appears to have any effect on an in infected specimen, short of killing it, is the application of extreme cold. At temperatures below minus 200 degrees Celsius, cell mutations are slowed dramatically. Where do we go wrong? So wait, extreme cold can kill it? One of the metamites bit in effect among the lab techs today. We're putting him into cry cry chronic hibernation to slow the progress of his disease, but I'm afraid that without a cure, his chances of survival are non-existent. The experiment is a failure and is scheduled to be terminated. Now what am I going to do? I've got an entire warehouse full of this slop. HH. I hope that's not HH Holmes. We already had a game with him. <laughs> Accounting. Okay. Uh, 120 gig drives. Drive. Quirk. Quirk? So he was taking bribes? But why? What was he taking bribes for? More bribes. Wow, that's a lot of bribes. Three in a row. On to ale cases. Um, Madame Zobrak? Consulting? Okay. Um, the Malamit spare parts. I don't. So he's been taking bribes from them. I don't really know why that matters. Okay, what else do we need doing here? Well, we need to go out to see these guys, right? Do I go through here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and once again. The pattern here. Hey guys, I'm a fly. Uh, Cliffy, it's just a hunch, but I think there's something wrong with the transporter. Uh, can you just grab the palm, sir? I'm a fly. Yes, will you look at me? Hello. Are you sure? What happened to the rest of you? I think I, I mean, he, uh, it called in the trash bin out back. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can fix you up. Where's the stubs to it? I think it's behind that large rock outcropping. Lead the way, Captain. Excuse me, Captain. I'm going to scan the perimeter. Thank you, WD-40. Yeah, it was back this way, right? And back this way. I don't want to get eaten. It's like right here somewhere. Sounds like Parasite Eve. This whole thing reminds me of Parasite Eve. Now I want to play Parasite Eve. Here's your body, Captain. Hmm, some people might say you never look better. Oh, shush. I think I can fix you up, Captain. Just have to reverse the phase polarity in the, on the transporter interface grid, and uh, you need to park yourself on old dung breath here for me to discramble the two of you. All right. Uh, here goes nothing. Energize. I mean, here goes everything. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, we're back! Boy, Captain, I'm sure glad you're back to normal. You're really starting to bug me. Ha ha ha. So fair, are you to use that joke? That's not funny, Chief. Sorry, sir, how do you feel? Except for a strange urge to go jump in that fertilizer bin and roll around, I feel pretty normal. That sure is some sit-up those genetics boys got here. You haven't seen a half of it. I flew through this locking mechanism and found a big underground lab next door. Of course, there was only so much I could do there as a fly. Anyway, there were a lot of really high-tech gizmos and all kinds of advanced technology. A moment too late, you realize saying the words advanced technology to Cliffy is like showing a photograph of helpless women and children to a Doberman picture. Wow. There's a description. A hungry gleam comes to your engineer's eye. Oh really? Why don't we take a closer look at that lock, Catman? You never know. If we can open it, we might find something we may be able to use against the Buckoy Creek Critters. I'll meet you there. Alright, well... Before we go there, let's, uh, can I mess with this? No, okay. Well, let's, um, 
Oh, WD-40's back. That scared me for a second. I thought she was about to destroy me. Perimeter secured, Captain Wilco. Here is your communicator, sir. I located it during my scans of the area. Uh, thanks, WD-40. I believe I can be of the most help back on the ship. Please beam me aboard, Cliffy. I don't know. Having to kill an android would help right now. Who knows when someone's going to show up. Uh, I don't want to beam you aboard. I want you to, like... Heck. Yeah, it's a doorway. How do we... Here, go deactivate this. Hey, you deactivate this. Electronic car key lock. Yes, I know. I just went flying through it. Clevy! I want you to be my board. I want you to... What do we, what do we have? Um... Put holes in it? An interesting idea, but it's not working. Um... Beat it with a stick? Beat him with a stick? What is this? Mark II warp distributor cap? How does having a warp distributor cap help me? How does having a high circuit fuse help me? Left out part from Cliffy's overhaul of WD-40, the annihilated android. Laser cutting torch. To lock the keys of your car again. Yeah, I, I need to, like, do something here. Is she doing anything for me? Um... Personal communication device, a whole bunch. Merchant means Blastoid business chip. Wait a second, it's a card. Can I? This ain't gonna work. Lock somebody rejects your card. Yeah. I didn't. Um. Well, maybe Cliffy can program this to make it work. Uh, now we only have a way to make some holes in it. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Make some holes in it. I'm trying to blow a hole in the. The, the, the building here. And it's not letting me put hole. Oh, he met the card, didn't he? He met the card. We need to put holes in the card. Ah. So, oh, hello. So it's three long. It's a nine. It's a nine. Three by three. Three by three. Um, the, the diamond pattern. Yeah. Diamond pattern. Should unlock the door, right? Oops, you bungled this puzzle. Maybe you should have paid more attention to your while you are fly? Hey, they actually give me another try. How about that? They need to just give me an instant game over. Okay, well, if it's not that, that's gotta be the X, right? I mean, there are only two possible patterns that we saw. Dangerous down the catman. I volunteered to stay in guard up here. Well, thanks. You're a lot of help. Okay. Now, what do I do down here? Uh, let's see. There's these things. Specimen cage is all empty, it seems. Small mooring noise emanates from this cage. A dim shape, slightly louder or darker than surrounding shadows, huddles in the back of this cage. There does seem to be creatures here. But I can't really. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. No. It just burped. Looks like you really lost your head this time. That was unfortunate. Yep. Let's try the other one. What just hit me? What just hit me? I got killed by the Tasmanian Devil. Like I can't press the other buttons. Okay, so I guess those are just death traps. Can't use the computer. Can't use the brains. Um, what am I supposed to do here? What is this? Get closer for? Like an outcrop in here. What is this? Cold vapors waft down to the floor for the cooling chamber of the large machine. A pair of liquid nitrogen canisters. Perhaps they could be used against a pucoids. Ah! 
cold, right? Handy travel sized container of liquid nitrogen. Just a thing to dump in the punch at dull parties. This 200 degree temperature of the liquid instantly freezes anything it comes into contact with. Fantastic! Okay, now how do we leave? I hear, I hear. Do you need help? What do you mean, not having help? How, how do we. Why can't I leave? There we go. It's a simple thing sometimes that get me. Oh, what did you find, Kevin? We discovered that the Pucords have a critical weakness and can't stand the cold. Extremely low temperature temporarily halts the molecular action of the primordial soup that causes mutation. Is it reverse the process? I'm afraid not, but at least it's better than nothing. Did you find anything else? I found a couple of canisters of liquid nitrogen. Great, come here. Maybe I can make something up to use it against the Pucord creatures. I sure hope so, Cliffy. Well, Captain, I think we're done on all we can do here for now. Let's head back to the ship. Alright, beam back to the Rika. We have a save down there, so if worse comes to worse, we could always reload. But where do we go next? Do we go back to uh, Tharkis? To confront the Goliath? There's gotta be some way to help Beatrice, Cliffy. I really can't think of any offense, sir. What's your business so excited about? Uh... I think he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? What is Spike up to? Uh, he's jumping on the cryo chamber. Is that a Spike? He wants to jump on the cryo chamber? Teleporter. I don't think so, sir. Now he's jumping on the transporter. Is he telling me that I can reverse her condition through the teleporter? Uh, what do you think Chris is trying to tell us, Kevin? Uh, what are you trying to tell us, boy? Did she jump on the cryo chamber and then on the transporter? Somebody fell down the well? <laughs> the mill is on fire? We should initiate a manual control bypass to reverse the phase polarity of the interface grid and then use the transporter to reintegrate Beatrice's DNA molecule. I don't know how Roger got that smart, but sure. But, you know, we're first gonna say somebody fell down the well. I just saved it. <laughs> He's like, nope. I don't think so, sir. There ain't no well within light years. Nice thought, though. Oh, wow, it didn't give me a game over. That's unexpected. The mill is on fire? No, he doesn't like that one. I created an interpretation, Captain, but the fact that there isn't any kind of mill within 100 parsecs here leaves the theory a bit thin. Uh, we should jump on the cryo chamber and then on the transporter? <laughs> I like Spike. I want a Spike. I don't think that's it, sir. Spike is adorable. Alright, let's do this really long thing, which I have no idea how much is smart enough to know this. But apparently he likes it. Uh, you know, it just might work. Good boy, Spikey. Get the ambassador ready, sir. I'll man the transporter. Aww. Let's give me a giant hug. I hope somebody comes back to uh, Space Quest 6. I know that makes puzzles a lot more difficult, having more stuff, but I like Spike. Uh, let's go ahead and save here because I have a tendency to really, really screw these things up. Um, okay, let's go to her. And we want to defrost, not cook. And if we froze her for 10, then we should defrost her for 10. Right? 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 Yes, okay. His success, you successfully defrosted Bea. There's not much time to save her, so what are we gonna do? Do it quick. Okay, let's take her out. Let's pick her up. Let's put her on here. Make it so, Cliffy. Okay, Kevin, just a minute. I gotta make some minor, delicate micro adjustments to the transporter. <laughs> it just kicks it. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. Oh, Bea, I thought you were puke for sure. Wow, that's a really nice thing to say to her. So did I. I feel weak. I need to rest. No problem. I took you back in the choir so you can recuperate. Okay, but. I just got one quest for you guys. What happened to my underwear? Your underwear? Uh, oops, excuse me, Roger. Well, that's pleasant. 
I mean, she was just like nearly frozen, so. I mean, give the girl a break, right? Do I have to freeze her now? I don't think I have to freeze her though. Bay is currently spent some quality time recuperating the Cairo. Yeah, should be good. Your little buddy is gurgling, gurgling contently inside his habit tube. Come on, keep us up and let's hop to it. So what do we do now? Can you guys, can you give me an analysis on the best course of action now that we have the cloaking device WD-40? I recommend that we attempt to board and take the Goliath. If we achieve surprise, we could cure a portion of the Goliath's crew with the ship's transporter and enlist their aid before the rest of the Pequots can react. Sounds risky. I calculate a 29% chance of success, but there is a 93% chance that the Goliath could destroy the Star Confederation if we cannot prevent him from reaching the frontier. Never tell me the odds. And just how in the Pleiades am I supposed to get over there? The Goliath's shields will probably block our transporter. The only remaining option is to use the Ava pod, Captain Wilco. It is small enough to avoid attracting attention. Once you attach it to the Goliath, you can cut through the hole. You can sink up to the bridge and shut down the shields. Then Cliffy and I can join you and affect the rest of the plan. Assuming I try this stunt, where should I land the pod? My databanks do not possess the information, sir, but I calculate an 83.7% chance that Cliffy will have that information. Okay. Well, he's not telling it to me. All right, where the heck do we go though? Because I don't know where the Goliath is. And what's why? Why did my speed just drop? So weird. We gotta stop fooling around. Um, any luck? No, it's still being jammed. Um. All right, what was that? I think that was new. Got any ideas on how to get ourselves out of this mess? I don't know, sir, but there are a lot of people out there counting on us to figure something out. The lives of thousands of species on hundreds of worlds hang in the balance. We're all depending on us, sir. Humans, xenomorphs, regalians, or rats, and even species like dolphins. Okay, I got the xenomorphs and the dolphins one. So let's get out there and win one for the flipper. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, how are you holding up? I'm a wreck, sir. My bunions are killing me. But too dear for asking, sir. Uh, we gotta stop the glass, sir. We can't let the big one touch from hell. Slap the itself for confederacy. That's all well and good, Jewel. Any idea how? Uh, but they can know a lot about this, sir. I think the other way will succeed is what they can take control of the glass themselves. But space and space monkeys may fly out of my butt. I'm serious, sir. We can't go toe to toe with the glass, so we're going to have to find a sick way to get to them. Yeah, but where do we go? Like, that's the $100 question. I feel like I'm back on, was it Darkus? Or was it Clorox? I feel like I'm back on Clark, uh, Clorox. So let's go ahead and land a course for Darkus or Thrakus. Uh, five, three, two, eight, four. And this'll take us back to the last spot where we saw the Goliath. And if anything, I'll go into the manual and just write down all the coordinates for all the places. And I guess we just fly to every single location looking for this ship. I mean, it's got to be out there somewhere unless it's hidden. Uh, sort of like the uh, genetics lab. I mean, it very well could be hidden, which maybe it's something that Quirk said. So what I could do is I could save, shut down, double check my list of coordinates. Uh, go to the manual and um and then what I can do is uh, watch back the recording to see if Quirk said anything about where he was going um hold on uh scan for ships the Goliath is currently in the vicinity of Gingivitis, sir. Okay, we have a uh, coordinate for that. Do you require anything further, Captain Wilco? Excellent, thank you. That, that, okay, that basically helps me out because I know the coordinate for Gingivitis. Point of the manual, the coordinates are, uh, let's see, uh, 81100. Zero, zero. And then we need to hit light speed. 
And uh, let's go to Ginger Vitus. We're approaching our destination, Captain. All right, can we um activate cloak? How do we activate cloak? Uh, I just broke the game. <laughs> I just broke the game. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't think the game really doesn't like it when I do that. So let's just go to uh, regular speed. I was trying to see if I could cloak before we dropped to regular speed. Because we're approaching planet Gingivitis. Sisters may and sisters have detected the presence of Goliath in the area, Captain Wilco. My calculations indicate that Goliath will be in visual range in approximately 10 seconds. So what I need to do is quickly cloak. Like quickly cloak. Why can't I move? Hello. Why can't I move? Uh. So let me just break again. Okay, I think that time will work because we saw a planet go by, not uh darkness, and it looks like I can move. Okay. Uh, that took. That took about five reloads to get to work, but we got to work. Now I quickly need to go and cloak our ship. I can't go uh, into hyperdrive with cloak on. I tried that too. Cause I thought maybe that was the error. The game put it loaded because of that. Hey, Gavin, get your tail down here to the lab. I got something you might want to take a look at. All right, excellent. Finally made it. Today's a day of bugs. <laughs> Quite literally with us turning to a fly, but we're getting through it. I mean old games uh, modern-day technology don't always mix What do you got? Wow, look at that Kevin, I've been making a few scans of the Goliath that come up with some interesting information. Oh really like what? Well, our scans show that the mutated crew of the Goliath is not spread evenly through the various sections of the ship as it normally would be the engineering space is almost completely deserted, for example. So? Well, if you were to enter your ship at that location, you would stand a good chance of getting aboard undetected. By saying you, you pretty much mean me, don't you, Cliffy? <laughs> of course, sir. Once you got aboard, you can sneak up to the bridge of power conduits and shut off the glass shields. What good would that do? Well, maybe WT-40 could beam over and incapacitate the crew. Then it could zip on over and set something up like we did uh, with the t ambassador with the transporter. Okay, so I can examine parts of the ship. Not a good idea to land there, Captain. Those engines are red hot and the thrust turbulence will blow you away. Goliath's ion emitters are located there. Lots of hard radiation. That section of the Goliath's hole is full of machinery. That's the area where scans show the least amount of pucoid ca activity, Captain. Yeah, but that's so small. That area is mostly crew quarters. We registered a lot of Pucords moving through there. It's, that's a Goliath's bridge. It's probably Pucord City right now. Yeah, but that's so small. Oh, wait. There's a few spots here. That section's got most of the Goliath's weapons and control system. Probably swamped with Pucords. There's a lot of Pucord activity in that area, that ca uh, the Goliath Captain. So I need to land in this small little middle spot. Yeah, right, like that's going to work. <laughs> oh, we're still going to die multiple times trying to do this. Yep, it's still going to happen. All right, let's rotate the, um, let's rotate this. And then we'll drop a save before we do anything else. And we'll jump in here. <sighs> Use the hand icon to indicate the position of the glide hole you wish to dock at. Okay, I want to dock right here. Right? Thought it was right there. Do I actually have to do anything or is it going to do it for me? This is really nice if it does it for me. Wow, really, really nice. 
These controls operate the hatch mechanism for the EVA pod. The current material of the pod is jammed with equipment you have little hope of understanding the short time available to you. The current material of the pod is jammed with- okay. Let's door to the EVA pod. So let's go ahead and drop a uh, second save because I don't know if I got the right location. Okay. Do I need to use my welder here? There we go. It's a cool little scene. I like the graphics there. Having to expand the laser torch's power pack, cutting through the glass super hard hole, you decide to leave this spent and bulky tool in the Ava pot. And I think I got to a location where I was supposed to go. Hey, how about that? The panel controls electrical drive operations, including electrical functions. Can't reach anything on the panel from where you see. Oh. Boy, they're all over you like flies on Earth. Sorry, you're probably still a little sensitive about that fly thing. Yeah, that's true. I need to hurry. Why? Wow, disappeared. Cool. Save that again. Uh, drive offline. The status indicator lights register the operation readiness of the machine that houses them. This was the place where Beatrice liberated the glass warp distributor cap. I have that. Remember, I was wondering what the heck this was? Yeah. Why did that not work? The heck? What? What the heck is going on? Like, I can't do anything. The panel controls critical drive operation including electrical functions. But why can't I do anything with it? So I mean like nothing is happening. Like why does it do that? I was sad. I mean, I clearly have to use this here, right? Hello? I can't seem to get this to work. Oh! I had to click it on like the top area, thingamajig. The warp distributed cap snaps into its receptacle with a quiet click of the Glyce Star Drive reawakens from its slumber. Huzzah! Drive online. You know what I should probably do? I should probably save here. And, um. I should probably just save here and, uh, come back to this, uh, tomorrow. Because it's already getting to be about an hour. And, um. I don't know how long the rest of this is gonna take. Right? Score 3,470 out of 5,000, I think it is. So, probably still have another, you know, another hour or so left. But anyway, I love you guys so very much. Thank you for everything. And until next time on a blind Let's Play Space Quest 5, the next mutation. So long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.